Yo, gasoline-powered leaf blowers are an abomination. While many jurisdictions have gotten those deafening ear rapists completely banned, far more jurisdictions welcome them with glee. So for those, think about the following. Hired workers have used leaf blowers in completely unnecessary fashion, walking in slow motion while blowing only one or two leaves instead of clearing piles. I even saw an apartment complex worker gunning a leaf blower onto a smooth concrete parking lot with zero leaves. Well, when I lived with my parents, I went into the basement to try to escape the oppressive noise. But then the landscapers stuck their blowers deep into the wells to blow the leaves inside. This did absolutely nothing but make the leaves spin in a circle, then drop down and remain exactly where they were before. What these people try to do is look busy without actually doing any work, since they get paid by the hour. So, if you notice such misbehavior, report them. Otherwise, you're either paying part of your rent money to fund someone to do absolutely nothing but irritate you, or pay a lawn service to do likewise. Some homeowners blow after a lot of hours, resulting in blowers blasting relentlessly 10 hours a day, 7 days a week in some areas. Report them to the village. Even with earplugs, they're very loud if multiple pieces of equipment are going simultaneously. Sometimes, instead of the steady noise, which I'd imagine the torturing of a hippopotamus to death would sound, their noise evades getting used to since they might change pitch and or are unpredictably stopped and started. Imagine how loud it is for bird-sensitive eardrums, and no wild animal can insert earplugs or don noise-reducing headphones. And consider those working late shifts who sleep in the daytime. Others may be reading or studying. The particular frequency of leaf blower noise worsens the problem since its sound waves travel very far without losing much energy. Hence, they're, they're even loud from afar. Besides noise pollution and carbon monoxide, dirt is kicked up, which may offend allergy sufferers. That dust can also contain herbicides and pesticides. And that goal of clearing away all leaves is wrong regardless. Fallen leaves provide shelter for overwintering insects and their eggs. Leaf blowers dislodge this leaf litter, which is also essential to insect life or food, which insects are essential to feed birds and other wildlife. Though leaf blowing may be raking, gasoline-powered leaf blowers are unnecessary. Two noises predominate the air propulsion mechanism, and the ga gasoline combustion engine. They can be replaced by leaf blowers with less noisy electric motors as only the propulsion mechanism noise dominates. While gasoline blowers average around 89 decibels, electric blowers average plus or minus 66 decibels, while battery-operated units can be less uh, noisy yet at plus or minus 55 decibels. Note that each 10 decibel increase results in a perceived doubling, doubling of sound volume. Driveways can be swept with four-foot-wide shop rooms. I ordered one from Texas through Amazon.com. They're as efficient as leaf blowers regarding pavement clearing, eventually paying for themselves several times over, since they can last a lifetime and you never use gasoline or electricity. Or even more effective on driveways, especially uh, with wet leaves. Constructing a giant homemade shovel might also help clear leaves. Excessive use of phallic noise bazookas, chainsaws, vacuums, hammers, car horns, and such like calls undue attention to oneself as if one is trumpeting like God. Instead, the noise that should be made is a joyful noise unto the Lord. Psalm 98.4 Besides, offending people for no reason is unethical. In Christian author C.S. Lewis's imaginative book, The Screwtape Letters, one demon writes to another that he despises both music and silence. He is thankful that hell is always extremely noisy, as noise is the audible expression of ruthlessness, which defends them from lovely thoughts by drowning them out. He also wrote that the demonic goal is to develop ways to make earth justice noisy. Another reason that noise dominates, especially in regard 
to mechanical banshees is that people are distracting themselves from having to face life's ultimate questions and their own mortality.